Hi and welcome back to Bike Speeds. So this week we're going to service this Planet X Nano Light. Not only are we going to service it and lubricate it and get everything nice, we're also going to change one of the tyres. The bottom bracket bearing was worn out, we're going to replace that too. And just generally give this bike a nice freshen up. You'll see in the before and afters at the end, we absolutely transformed this bike and it looked a million dollars. Also got a little announcement to make during this video, so do please keep watching. Something quite important to us I'm going to tell you about during the video today. So you can see here how the parts are all built up with grease and oils. A little bit of dirt on the frame we just need to clean off. But initially you can see very little wear in this chain. The chain doesn't need to be replaced but that also tells me a little thing of when I'm servicing the bike and that is that probably the rest of the drivetrain is not going to be worn or deteriorated in any way through running a chain that's stretched out. So the chain you can also see has been well lubricated. A little bit dry but the lubricant is there so we clean all that off put that through the ultrasonic cleaner before we re-lubricate it but it kind of tells me portrays a picture that this bike actually is quite well looked after in all honesty you know and, and that everything on it is is good this service will just improve things you can see here a little bit of build up on the jockey wheels from the oil and lubricants that you've been putting on the chain so we'll clean those up clean the derailleur off comes the front derailleur again same story you can see there's some lubricant on the spring there now you can hear here the bottom bracket's quite noisy so it needs new bearings at this point we contacted the customer and he agreed to have those done and we get the chain set off and we'll sort out those bottom bracket bearings at the same time so off comes the chain set and again with this you can see that it's quite well built up with grease from when it was refitted initially probably a little bit too much grease but that's good really from a servicing point of view and now we're just going to remove these press fit bottom bracket bearings so out comes one side and then we'll do the other side so we've got this lovely extractor here which is great for removing the bearings without hitting them with hammers and, and drifts i just like to try and extract a bearing of that nature without putting any shocks through the frame so that's why we use those lovely extractors so we'll take off the brakes and these will go through the ultrasonic cleaner as well because you can see here you often get this sort of dryness on a brake where because they're aluminium braking surfaces with these ones, you often get dust build up on the bottom of the brake. So again, it's good practice to remove those, put them through the ultrasonic cleaner and really clean them up and lubricate them before they go back on the bike and they will continue to function without actually eventually seizing up. So now we've decided which parts we're gonna put into our ultrasonic cleaner. They all go in now. It's a six liter ultrasonic cleaner with a water soluble degreaser. So once they're through, we now start to wash these components off as you can see here just to make sure they're really clean and that grease is fully off the component before we go to the lubricating section. So again, all the parts, including this quick release skewer, the cassette, which we do with the scrubbing brush, just to really work any debris that's stuck in between the teeth off. And then we can get those all prepared, dried off and ready for the lubricating stage, which will be the next stage after washing everything down. And even just give the chain set itself a little wash down this was actually just a standard service it wasn't a full detailing so we didn't strip this apart we literally just washed that down before we re-lubricate everything now these jockey wheels they have a bearing inside them so we don't want to disturb the seals or the the lubricants within those bearings themselves there's no need to for this type of service so we just wash those down with a brake cleaner just to get the debris off of the jockey wheels before we start to put the derailleur back together so i'd use a little bit of loctite 222 on the axles and now we begin our lubricating process. Copper slip on the threads, general purpose grease on the thumb adjuster, nice thin oil on the pivot points, and some premium grease on the derailleur spring itself. Now I'm very, very proud to say we are officially tonight launching our website where you can buy these greases in the syringes as you see them here. You can also buy our vinyl frame stickers, our super slick cables, Bike Speeds mugs, our Auto Glim products, and much more. So please do check out our new website, bikespeeds.com. We've dropped the link in the description below, and hopefully you'll visit the new website and maybe even do a little purchase there. Me and Simon would both really appreciate that. So we're just going to wash this frame down. This was a standard service. It wasn't a full detailing service, but none the more for that. We always wash bikes down when we service them. So nice warm soapy water onto the frame, get that fully washed down. We're using our big softy brush there, again, available on the website. So once it's washed down, dry it off with a microfiber towel, make sure it's absolutely popping. And in this instance, we're gonna use the Auto Glim Super Resin Polish. 
So we actually did this as a little extra for this bike because the customer had actually loaned us the bike to do the video. We always like to give a little thank you back to the customers. We actually had this video over one of the Maybank holidays here in the UK. So it was just a little bit of an extended stay with us over a normal service, but the customer was happy to do that. And so just as a little thank you, we also polished the frame down before we actually rebuilt it, which is slightly different to our normal service where we'd normally just wash the bike down. So we also wash the wheels down. This is standard procedure for us to check the integrity of a wheel, to check there's no loose spokes, just as we can have a feel of everything before we put it back together. A little bit of general purpose grease on the hub itself before the cassette goes back on. That will just help it from binding and sticking and corrosion, and that will make it easier to remove next time. And then we also swapped out the rear tire. So we're just taking off the old one here. And once we actually put the new tire on this, We'll actually line up the logo with the valve hole itself so that the logo on the tire is lined up with the valve. We also did that to the front wheel off camera before we refit that to the bike as well. It's just one of those little details we like to get right. I always check the rotation on the tires and make sure they're turning the right way for the road. And finally, I pump these up. And then we're now on to the stage of getting this new bottom bracket bearing in before we refit the chain set. So we've got a lovely little press here. This just glides the bearings in, a little bit of grease helps them seat centrally within the bottom bracket itself and a little bit of grease on the chain set just to refit that, just to help that slide into the new bearings and we got those absolutely spot on. So a little bit of pre-tension on the pre-tensioner before doing up the pedal arm bolts, torquing those up correctly. I've mentioned this in other videos where we like to get the chain set spot on before we actually put the front derailleur on so that everything is in its final position for the adjustment of the front derailleur. Check the derailleur hanger itself just to make sure that those bolts are correct before we put everything on. This bike didn't need any cables, but we do just nip off the ends to get the derailleurs off, so a new end went on there. On goes the brakes, again we can reuse this cable. A little bit of lubricant, a little bit of general purpose grease on the thumb adjuster for the brake. Makes all the difference as the bike is ridden. In fact, we had a comment last week about someone who said they'd start lubricating their thumb adjusters because of seeing it on our channel and that it was making a big difference to his adjustments of his bike so that was nice to hear and now i'm just resetting the front brake just making sure everything there is as it should be and then a little bit of copper grease in the accessory bolt holes just to make sure that the threads don't bind there put the accessories back on the bike before we remount the rear wheel on goes the front wheel as well finally the heartbeat of the bike the chain this is just cleaned up, this is not a new chain, and now we can just do our final adjustments and tweaks. So with this rear derailleur, we actually had to adjust the B screw and the low screw on this derailleur to get it right. Now the low screw position and the B screw, using the original chain as we are, should never really have needed adjusting after we put the bike back together, but they weren't quite right from when the bike came in, so we just got those spot on as well. Check the brakes, make sure everything's centrally, correct there before we start running through the bike with a torque wrench. So we torque up the shifters themselves just to make sure they're correct, pop down the hoods, check the crown bolts, make sure that they're torqued correctly and as you can see here they were a little bit loose. Now one thing I did notice with these was the spaces for the stem, the logos of the Planet X weren't lined up and they had little ridges so it was nice just to line those up and I lined them up to the front so as they met the front of the bike nicely. So just lined those up talk everything up to make sure it's okay and that just presents a little bit nicer and a little bit better even the brakes pinch bolts for the cables brake blocks brake caliper mount front derailleur pinch bolt again pedals we talk up the pedals and the chain set things can work loose on a bike some of these bolts were only slightly loose where they had definitely been torqued but through road vibration had loosened off we then re the rear brake after taking that off. We actually give a service sheet to our customers with all the torque settings written down to show them everything we've done across their bike. And as you've seen in other videos, the saddle clamp is always loose, so well worth talking that up, often worth the service alone for the saddle. And then we just lubricate up the chain, lubricating those rollers with a nice thin oil. Again, this is available on our website. So as you can see from these before and afters, we made a huge difference to this bike. The bottom bracket should make riding experience much better. The drivetrain is all cleaned up and along with tightening the saddle, that's all the problem solved on this one. And all the products we've used on this video today, they're all now available on our website. So please do check out that bikespeeds.com. 
and uh, I'm sure I'll be banging the drum for that in the next few weeks but thanks again for watching and we'll see you again next week bye for now